Not like calling ha ha. I'm having a virtual lunch today with Lindy Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Eight truffle fries because that is my personality, and I drank rose because that's what I do for a living. Oh, come now. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I have been to Pilates this morning. I've done a little food shop, and I'm all dressed. Ignore the hair. Um, <laughs> it's hair wash day today. But I want a hair mask tonight, so I kind of just whacked it in a plait, but I don't feel like I can pull a plait off. Um, we're gonna work with it anyway. Also, these jeans I'm obsessed with. They're from Mango, but I just love the colour. But I'm gonna make some breakfast. Because I've woken up feeling really funny. <laughs> Not like funny ha-ha. Um, when I got up this morning, I'm just so like, dizzy and I couldn't find my balance and I was like oh I have literally just opened my eyes maybe it's that had my Pilates class that was all fine and then about to leave Pilates I had to sit down on the floor because I felt so dizzy and faint so I don't know if it's just because I've not eaten or what um but yeah I just feel you know you just feel a bit oh so I'm gonna make some hmm could do wheat eggs or I could do oats. Or I could do a bagel. I'm gonna do some oats. Um, yeah, and see if that makes me feel better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Lazy Girl oats today, one of these. Banana. have some visitors my niece and nephew are coming over with my sister obviously um and i feel like i've not seen them in ages we facetime all the time um but yeah i feel like i've not seen them for ages so i'm very much looking forward to that we're just gonna have like a wholesome a wholesome morning i might take them to the park also i don't even know if you guys know i have a sister we are one year and four days apart which is very close in age but we could not be more different she's a wife she's a mum she likes to bake you know trying to paint the picture here and then there's me <laughs> you would think there's probably like four years between us but no we've got one year and four days apart so you can only imagine my household growing up my mum was also a very young mum. She had my sister at 18 and then me at 19. So growing up, it was just a household of young hormonal women. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be lovely to see them. Um, also, how, how cute is this? Changing the subject, but the other day I had these two mugs in my Selfridges basket and I was going to buy them and I thought oh there's no point me buying them because like, I might as well just pop in to Selfridges and buy them then. And then I had the delivery on Saturday. Oh. Then on Saturday I had the delivery, I opened it and it was just the mug I had in my basket and I thought oh I swear I didn't buy that and I thought to myself maybe I have bought it and I've just forgotten like my shopping addiction got that bad that I'm forgetting what I've bought now um and it was actually from Lauren Watson which is just the sweetest 
thing, biggest thing, and she had no idea I wanted them. But our brains are literally the same. So that made me very happy. Bless her. I'm actually seeing her again this week as I'm going up to Manchester. So when I'm there, I'm going to see her for dinner. I would stay up there, but I've actually got a shoot this week with Ashton and you, which I'm very excited for because I've shot with them before and they are the nicest girls. So we have a nice week. So I'm back in the kitchen, as you can obviously tell. I haven't really vlogged today because I was with my niece and nephew. And I don't ever really put them on camera, but that was, but it was so nice to see them. I mean, it was exhausting. I had big plans <laughs> for today. I thought I was going to be out and about all day after seeing them. And then once they left, I was literally dead. And we don't really do much. Went to the park. Um, but I've learned I need to invest in some like toys. Maybe in the ball or the garden. Um, I didn't really have much to entertain them with but yeah so they left and now I'm just been catching up on work now I'm cooking dinner I've got a spag bowl I was just on FaceTime to Lindy and Natalie and they're both having a spag bowl tonight and I said you know what I'm gonna have a spag bowl too because it's actually one of my hello fresh meals for the week so I'm just cooking that and then I'm gonna have a pan up and the new hair mask my hair I'm gonna fake tan and I'm just get an early night I think early-ish night I've got a very busy day tomorrow um so yeah that's been my Monday okay ignore the lighting but pamper is done doesn't look like it <laughs> but when I wake up tomorrow hopefully I'll be a bit more glam I've oiled my hair, I've exfoliated, I've tanned, tanned my face. Uh, that's pretty much it. So, wait until the morning and hopefully there will be a transformation. But right now I'm going to get in bed. It's like 10 to 9 and I'm not even mad about the fact I'm just about to get into bed. Okay, I've literally just woken up. <laughs> but tan. Now I need to get ready for Pilates. I literally have about 10 minutes. Okay, so all ready and I have just filmed this makeup look. So, fingers crossed, it's either going to be on YouTube or on Instagram at some point. But I really want to start sharing more like beauty stuff, makeup looks, hair stuff. Because I know I'm very heavy fashion and that will always be like my main interest. And I feel like that's all people pretty much care about. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do want to just start sharing more with you guys. So this look has just been filmed. Now I'm going to put some clothes on, make some breakfast. The sun is shining. And I'm in a wonderful mood. After a few days of anxiety, I just feel so much lighter. It feels great. <laughs> okay, so I'm heading out. I've literally just changed my outfit, um, so I'm running late. But I was sat on the sofa in my skirt. I was wearing a gorgeous silk brown skirt. I'll insert a photo here. And it kept creasing, and I'm out all day. So I don't want to get to my event tonight and just be creased as hell. So I've just chucked this on. I've kept the same accessories and shirt on, and then just whacked this set on that I really wish that had pockets. I don't know if the waistcoat's like too much, but I'm gonna wear it anyway and then if I feel uncomfortable, I'll just whack it off. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna head off to London Bridge. I've got a meeting with the L'Oreal girls, which I'm very much looking forward to. Then I have a meeting with my management and then tonight I have a meeting with Jo Malone. I do feel like maybe I should take some hills, but I don't know if I can be bothered to carry them around. I'm having a virtual lunch today with Lindy Lou. I've got a kid's meal. 
Okay, I'm just about to head home, but I have actually been to an event. <laughs> I just forgot to vlog. Um, but we're just at the Mandrake. We went to the Joe Malone event. I've got the new scent down here, which I'll unbox when I get home. But it's half seven and it's home time because we're old. Yeah. We're old gals. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. This might possibly be one of the worst angles ever, but we're just going to have to um, work with it. I'm getting ready as I'm off to Manchester this morning, which I'm very much looking forward to because while I'm there, I'm going to go and see Lauren. We're going to grab some food for my train home. I would have stayed up there with Lauren, but I've got a shoot tomorrow, which I'm very excited for. And you'll see all about tomorrow. Um, so I just had to get back home because it's, bit of a hectic week let me just have a sip of my tea i'm just so in love with no mug <laughs> um why is something so much more enjoyable when someone else buys it for you also i'm still really enjoying this spf i was saying to the l'oreal girl just today i just love how my makeup applies straight after it because i'm not gonna lie i'm not the best with spf i always used to just like skip that step but now that i found a good one that actually goes on well with my makeup i enjoy using it so i just feel like you need to find a product that works for you but i feel like you've seen me do my makeup so many times before so i will catch in with you after also quickly say changing the subject yesterday i found this photo and i put it next to a new photo and i'm absolutely shocked at my hair growth are you ready for this oh like how mad i think that's like a year and a half between those photos but let me get on with my makeup and then i'll check back in with you before i'm about to leave also still obsessed with this stuff like the base glow that that gives you insane even though i look like a big toe right now so i'm not doing it justice but you know okay outfit of the day skirt is mango trainers i've just got my sambas on i mean you can't really see them anyway top is for from reckless and then i've just tied it up because i looked a bit frumpy so i feel like this just is a little bit more flattering and then i've just used this this is the perfume from yesterday's event it's so like fresh and summery it's honestly so nice i want to get a little handbag sized one so i can take it with me but wow that is divine Eleven so we're at king ching bitches this is where we're at basically <laughs> we've been here for yeah well it's now got here at one well yeah no way so basically we're on the same train but we didn't communicate no we did see each other yesterday but we still didn't communicate <laughs> And we both knew each other was basically And um, we had a beautiful lunch. We had a lot of wine. Um, oh, I've not mentioned it. We're... <laughs> oh, why we're here. <laughs> it's giving chaos. We're only here for a reason. Why was the reason? <laughs> We're in Manchester for the launch of Fourth and Reckless in Selfridges. So we are going to go upstairs at some point. Is that where it is upstairs? Yeah. Um, but we've been having a beautiful lunch. We had divine food, we ate it all, and now we're just drinking so wine. Cool. Laura Watson's going to come and meet us. Um, she did text me saying, have you had wine, are you drunk? And I just sent a photo of her. 
Okay, here it is. Third floor, Selfridges, Manchester. How cute! Lo's doing her thing. Doing my job, honey. Guys, look who rocked up. Wait, the lighting's not good. Go. Oh. <laughs> you look rough. <laughs> You look rough. You look rough. Look, you guys. My hair's straight. You look gorgeous. Gorgeous. I've missed you. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my vlog. Um, just <laughs> been at um, San Carlo today. Ate truffle fries because that is my personality. And I drank rose because that's what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why do I look so different? I look so different with straight hair. You look, how old, you look younger. <laughs> Great. That's what you said, I look old 55. <laughs> I, get I do. On TikTok, I get called a 40 year old milk. You get like, called plus size cream. Oh, you're not going to pop that. No, I'll keep that in. I get called plus size. Like, plus size queen. queen. At least I get called a queen. Oh, and I mean, I, this, yeah. And I get called. Um, 40 year old, 50 year old uh, milk virgin. <laughs> I wish it was. I mean, no, you're basically there. I, at this point, I am. <laughs> She's basically a virgin now, so Virgin Mary coming at you. Here she is. Cheers, cheers to be a virgin. <laughs> Guys, I have a train in like an hour. Okay, I've had a hectic morning, now I'm in a rush. Can't really update you on what happened yesterday and everything else, so I will do that when I'm home. Also, don't judge the outfit right now. I'm sweating buckets. Why am I so hot? I haven't got a clue. But I need to leave because I'm off to shoot with Astrid and Muse. They'll bring you along. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Oh. Um, guys, I have been to work today. We've uh, both been to work today. We're like adults. We've been adults today. But I didn't film anything, and this is such a bad angle. But I basically had a shoot with. Yeah, I'll do. Here, look, you do that. Thanks. Um, I had a shoot with Ashton Mew. Didn't film anything because it was filming for like six hours. And then now I'm here. We are, if you can see over there at our friend's event, Pizza and the Cantes. That's a pit boys here, Shame, shame. Shame for us, um, for Now we just ran off to do our lip gloss. Refi for us. Refi's the best. Yeah, and we just need five minutes away from human beings. It's too much human contact. I can't, my social A lot, a lot of small talk, which has been <laughs> 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 Oh, the light, look up, that's quite nice. Oh, fun they are. Good afternoon, guys. I feel like the last two days, I don't know what I filmed. I don't know if the vlog is just going to be chaotic. Um, so I thought we'd quickly have a catch up. I am going to head out and go to the gym. I think it's like 3 pm, so very late. For me to go to the gym but i had a bit of a line this morning i was exhausted um and then i've been waiting in all day for a super super exciting delivery can't really show you it yet anyway but i'm gonna give you a sneak peek that literally makes no sense at all but it's very exciting and I feel like this delivery has kind of given me the oomph I need just to get things in, booked in for this house because that didn't make sense, did it? Get things, get things booked in for this house. So for example, right now, all that over there doesn't fit, but I need to get the TV on the wall so that I can move the mirror and I can move everything around. 
Um, so I'm gonna hopefully book that today, get that done. Obviously I still need it to get it painted, but I'm gonna change up the sofa. Um, so I feel like I need to find a sofa before I get it painted. Anyway, going on to a whole different topic there. Um, Wednesday I went up to Manchester, celebrated the launch of the Thorpe and Reckless collection now in Selfridges and it ended up being <laughs> a little bit boozy. We had a lot of wine at lunch and then Lauren came and met me and then we all kind of just decided to go for more drinks and they all very nearly got me to cancel my train home but I made it back. I don't know how I made my train, but I made my train back. And I also left my bag in Manchester. Thank the Lord, my house keys was in my other bag. So I had two bags with me. Otherwise, I would have been absolutely screwed. And then the next day, which was yesterday, I had a shoot with Astrid and Mew and my lovely work wife, Lauren, not Lauren Watson. I've got so many Laurens. <laughs> Lauren Grace and so we were just filming all day so I didn't really film and then after that I headed to my friend's event which was so much fun and then I came home I snuck out I left a little bit early because everyone was ready for a night out and I was just so exhausted and then here we are <laughs> so the last two days have been a little bit hectic but there's been a lot of fun but I'm very sleepy I just want to work out so I'm going to head to the gym um I also need to sort this situation out but I'm so excited also I'm kind of just excited to get this house finally done I know I say it all the time but I've been in here nearly two years and everything's still left so undone but the hardest thing I have found is trying to find people to do the work because I don't feel comfortable with these random men, I say men because it always is men, um, coming into my house, giving me quotes for like jobs, like painting or whatever else. And then it's quite clear that I live alone. I don't know, I just, I've been put in some uncomfortable situations. So it kind of just put me off getting help, getting work done. Um, but anyway, I'm off to the gym. Well, I'm gonna go for a walk and then maybe to the gym. And I'm either gonna stay in tonight, have a cozy night, it's Friday, don't know if I said that, or I'm gonna go out and... Wow, that fly is aggressive, can you hear that? Well, now it's stopped. Um, anyway, happy Friday. Hope everyone has had a beautiful week.